Uh, hi everyone and welcome back. In this video we are going to talk about uh, some good thing about this object which is implicit binding. Means uh, we are not explicitly doing anything implicitly how this object is bind to the functions to the object or any other thing. So first of all let's talk about some simple example. Uh, like uh, I have the object and which is having some properties something like this so which is having x is 40 and it is having say hello as a function and what it is doing it is doing console.log this dot x okay Now what you are doing is object dot say hello because this is an object and you can just directly call the method here right say hello is a property and you can directly trigger the method on this right so you got the value 40 so this is the object and if you try to print uh, console dot log this that where this is pointing this object is pointing inside this object we will come to know that what this is having this is having only two properties so whenever we are calling an object or calling a method of the object so then this object is actually currently pointing to the object itself so whenever I do the console.log this then you can see I got all the properties inside this which is having two properties x is 40 and say hello is a function right so whenever you call something onto the object I didn't create a function, I didn't create a new object on that function. I just created a plain object and now I'm calling the method on this. So object is already created, I'm calling a method. So at this point of time inside an object, this will point to the object itself. You will you'll come to know when I talk about the functions on the scene. So here these are the functions methods I created. So once you write these lines of code, these lines of code nothing will happen in the memory it will just okay you have the function that's fine you created a prototype method that's fine but everything that this context will get initialized when you start creating the object because this first name last name will not have a memory until unless you call the object you create an object of this person function which we are doing on to this line now I got a memory allocated for first name last name and uh, all these variables and I can just see what is there in the Jabber right you, you can see that Jabber is actually a uh, object and currently this so uh, Jabber I'm trying to print and you can see Jabber is pointing to the person object having first name and last name property right so this is how it happens right now you can just call the method jabber.fullName here because it's object we have created so obviously we can call the method now and it will give us the full name right uh, so jabber.fullName is actually giving us uh, undefined so I created the object first name last name okay yeah it's giving us it's not giving us the undefined it is giving us the full name undefined is the always return type whenever you execute something right so you created an object so in this functions both gets allocated and both are binded to the, this object now a number of object you create every object will have these property first name and last name right but that is getting initialized this implicit this binding is happening when you are creating the object either you take this example or you take this example I created a my object which is having some few properties and I'm calling the object then only this context initialization is happening okay then only this function is coming to know okay uh, this is currently pointing to uh, my functions and it is having all these properties right if you try to do some console.log here right, 
let's try to see what this object is currently having so you can see uh, the, the values inside this because this object is currently pointing to the function context and it is having only these properties name first name and my property right so okay yeah I, this is this object and uh, the full name is printing as this okay So this is how uh, things are happening in JavaScript and this is the implicit binding. Obviously, whenever you are creating the object, this will point to the functions. Whenever you are actually calling a method or creating the object, this will point to the currently created object. We did it. We did console dot this. This is having only two properties, export and say hello method, right? Now, there can be an explicit uh, property binding, explicit this binding where you don't have this object available there and you may provide or you may override the context of this object that is explicit uh, this binding implicit this binding happens in the functions in the object uh, whenever you are calling the creating the object or when, whenever you are calling the function then only this object context created so consider this simple example so here I will call the person method Okay, so consider this. So what will happen if I try to call this method directly and do console dot log this object? What we are going to get? Because this is a plain function, I can call directly, right? So right now, this particular this object is pointing to the global function, right? Right now, actually, I'm running this with the node. You can also run this on the Chrome console, which is a browser browser environment right having the dome APIs and all but right now this this object is pointing to the global object and we are just adding few properties but when we create a new object right we have already seen what actually new keywords do in the previous video it creates the new object okay and it bind this object it it uh, initialize the context of this object with this so it is this object is getting bind to this object so this object will have only first name and last name property all these things are happening like this okay it's it, it just a simple function so when you call it this obviously points to the global scope you're not creating the object you're just calling a plain functions and it has access to the outer scope whatever available outside so this will uh, point to the global scope 